<coughs> Trash. Hello everyone. If you see this, you rock. Because that means you followed my promotion from my main channel to my music channel. And I am very happy about that. I'm very grateful for that. And you're just the best. I thought I want to kick this channel off with just like a little talking situation. I just want to introduce this channel to you. I just want to show you that it exists. Because obviously I in the future want to separate my music and my usual content. Because it is two different things. It is also two different for Naomi's in some kind of way. And yeah, this is the first video on this channel. And I know it is a very rare occasion for me to do a Q&A because I don't think I did one in like bazillion years. Also, please ignore this mess in the background. It's it's almost like I'm a YouTuber. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions relating my music. The very first question, I am not even lying, this is the first question. When is an album I think this is like the most asked question in general because I have been teasing this little bitch here and there. Yeah, since I will be doing an album tour this year, we're so close. You're gonna get that announcement. You're gonna get it. Let's get to the next question because I can't talk too much about this yet. Are you aiming for a sudden for the album? Are you experimenting that is a good question because obviously i have been experimenting a lot and i feel like for this album or like my newer songs i really kind of figured out in which direction i want to go what i love the most i know there's always like a huge debate of people saying why does she make such shitty music if she can sing like why does she not just sing and all i have to say to that is i definitely feel like i I am going into the direction that I want to go into but also what I have to say is it was super hard finding my direction and even now two years in two and a half years into my music journey I don't think I already have found myself completely I might feel like I found myself for now but you, you know you never know where it goes you never know what's coming and I feel like there's just so much more to explore in general describe your song in three emojis that's quite easy. I would say it's this one, this one, and this one. Is there an official stage name other than Naomi John? If you knew me, you know that my official stage name is not Naomi John. It is Annette. How would you describe the overall vibe for this new, new era? I don't want to spoil too much. I think like my album deserves a whole video on its own, but I can definitely say that this era is very different to Cutie Naomi. Who are your inspirations vocally and sonically? Probably like my biggest idol is Ash Nico because she's the epitome of doing what she wants not giving a fluff about the industry kind of she just wants to do her thing and i love that and i love how crazy she is i also love her lyrics because they're also so crazy and just stuff that i would never be able to think of i also saw her live and she's also amazing live i have to say she's got so much choreography and it kind of motivated me to also do more choreography in my next show we're already like planning because i don't want to do the same choreography for my already released songs that I did in my last tour because if I got like people coming again I don't want them to be bored I want them to be like oh it's a new show like I have never seen this before so that's why we have to rework everything and it's gonna be so different but also such a challenge because I have to learn everything from scratch again kind of wait that was not the question what was the question who are your inspirations oh my inspiration but also at the moment or like especially for this album I had like more inspiration like while I made this album I listened to a lot of Cassiet, Rico Nasty, Lilith, Jar, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I really like metal but only like girl metal if that makes sense like when I hear like a woman voice. I don't need the men on there but I love the women on it. <laughs> and that brings me to this next question. Do you think you will? Do you think you will? Do you think you will ever try and run? 
not like 100% but I do have some metal influences I also don't want to spoil it too much because this is the topic for the album but I don't want to like put it in that genre it's still pop it has a lot of edge to it have you written any of the songs on your album songs on your album um, I actually write all of the songs, but just not alone. Every time I have a songwriter with me who just helps me because obviously English is not my mother tongue. And also songwriting is very complex. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it definitely can be. Even like the most basic lyrics sometimes take time. I always have some kind of songwriter with me. Sometimes it's the same for like two songs then I change it up and then I have a new one and then I change it up again and I just try out a couple of them because obviously you want to try new songwriters to give you new impulses, new ideas. Also for melodies, like I can think of my own melodies but sometimes it's just good to have somebody else there that thinks of other melodies, to have options, to ha see what is all possible. You don't need that necessarily, but I personally find it very helpful. Also, my producers have been uh, doing a lot of songwriting with me. Like we always have these sessions with a songwriter and my two producers, and then we just all brainstorm together. But yeah, I was involved in the writing process of every single song and they are my babies and I wouldn't have it any other way. So we have another question regarding the making a song process do you write your lyrics first and choose a beat or do you find a beat and write a message everybody kind of does it differently but for me which i find the most effective is to actually brief my producers to just tell them what i want to have like what's the vibe what's the inspiration what i want to say what i want to feel and also they kind of know me by now because uh, we've been making all the songs together so far so they they mostly prepare the instrumentals and then we write on the instrumentals and then sometimes while we're writing on it we realize okay this part doesn't make sense we need to change this there needs to be a break or we need a bridge or whatever like it all comes during the writing process but we always have some kind of instrumental base to write on any bilingual songs on the album or maybe even German yeah yeah or maybe even German. You guys want me to sing in German? I just cannot. Okay, this is again an album topic. Um, I'm just gonna say one sentence. Kind of yes, but also not really, but also yes. You're welcome. Do we get sabotage? I need the song if you want me. I think that refers to one song that I sang in my last tour. For everybody who wasn't there, which is probably the majority of people who are watching this right now, I teased some songs. I played, I think, two, th three unreleased songs, which are gonna be on the album. So yes, you're gonna get that song, but no, it's not gonna be called Sabotage. But enough talk about the album. I just, I can't shut up. I can't shut up. How much does it I don't even want to talk about this topic because it's kind of depressing. Some are obviously more expensive, some are less expensive. If we start at the beginning of my career, my first music video was definitely the cheapest one. I think all in all I paid like 14,000 euros and most of the clothes that I wore in this were also rented like I didn't pay a lot of money for the clothes and then per music video it got more expensive and more expensive the most money I've spent on one music video was definitely around 90,000 this is like my biggest investment like I don't buy cars I don't buy apartments I literally just spend all of my money on my music videos and I know it's kind of insane I don't know I just have this certain standard that I want to fulfill. I want my music videos to match the songs. I'm a very visual person. I 
want to serve your looks, I want to serve your choreography. But it is crazy how expensive everything is. Even just the choreo, just the dancers, then you have the rehearsal days that also cost money. Dancer outfits, which you also want to look good, and like all the crew, and then you have to rent the light equipment, you have to rent the camera equipment. Yeah, music for me is definitely an investment. It's not like I get any of this back. I mean, yes, I can monetize my music videos, but what I get from that <laughs> is in no relation. Also, like my streaming, it won't get this back in, but you know, it's just what I choose to do. Um, it's what I love, it's what I spent my money on. But yeah, no, I really have to stop. <laughs> like this album, my next tour, I still want to release two more music videos, two more songs after the next one next week and I just can't keep doing that. I cannot keep doing that because it's already getting really, really tough and really tight. Please stream my songs. <laughs> <laughs> might be go find out next week no seriously in this video i will show you my cheeks <laughs> is vincent going to sing in the future vincent will you sing in the future i've already done had her scissors. okay show us <laughs> come on don't be shy show them your pipes puta <laughs> Oh, you're nasty. I've been the nasty girl. I've been the nasty girl. Porque putas me pides que vuelva pa la mierda. My Spanish teacher. <laughs> what? You're gonna be my Spanish teacher. Born and raised in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to record that song right now with his one sock on. I think this is it for this video. I think we um, answered enough questions. Are you excited, guys? I think I also will do a little live stream on Thursday night, like when the song releases at like 12 a.m. Germany time. I've never even live streamed on YouTube before, but I thought this is a new channel. Let's just do something crazy. So if you want to be here on this live stream with me and chat while my song goes live, be my guest. <laughs> oh, and also one more thing. I will in the future also upload the BTS videos, the making of videos of the music videos on this channel right here and on this channel only. And I will also post some more music content because this channel is not just for the music videos. It's also supposed to be for some music related content. I'll probably also post the album snippet on here and everything, you know, just everything. So please subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Is my outro gonna be the same in this? I feel like it needs to be a little different. Maybe I need to sing it because it's my music channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Will I remember this for the next outro? Probably not. Bye. Me pides que... <laughs>